So just go from the, the lion's butts and go all the way across. And tell me if you get 25. Doing a good job, Dylan. Let's figure this thing out. Thank you, sir. <laughs> and then they're gonna have land for the animals to bask, to maybe run, maybe fly. I don't know. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today's another day here at the ranch and uh, as you guys can see, we're on a big giant truckload of nice clean sand right here. I got a call for some dirt to come get dropped by and it is breeding season coming up. Well, it is breeding season already passed for the Sokotas, but they need spots to lay dirt, lay their eggs and uh, got it done. The emus are like, what the heck is going on? But this is just another project for us to do. It's a non-stop working freaking ranch here, I swear. It's always non-stop here. And right now, what we're doing over there, you're gonna go see what we're doing. So we're gonna head over there and uh, we're gonna go check it out and we're gonna show you all the plans and all the different designs we have to get put together. Enough jobity, 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 and let's head over there, let's go do it. So we just showed you all the dirt and we actually bought a bunch more of the sheet metal right here and I lined it all up against the whole entire of the goat closure. The reason why I did that is because the other side is the pit bulls, the dogs, and sometimes when we're not here, they'll freaking mess around with the birds and stuff. So at least the dogs and the chickens and the turkeys and everything have a visual, a nice visual barrier. So that's pretty good right there. But uh, let's move on and I'm gonna explain what we're doing over here, where the pond area is at. So let's head over there. It is a little cold out here in South Florida today, but what we're gonna show you now is step two of the construction that's gonna be going on over here. So the gate is not here yet. That is coming to get placed here in the next couple of days. You guys will see that in another video. But we're coming all over here. Well, let, let me just, we got all these bushes that we're gonna line up against the fence line here so that when the cars are parked up, they don't see the big old building and everything is buried off from over here. We're adding bushes there. And then what we're doing next is I'm getting the fencing and everything prepared before the pond gets dug out. So next up, what we're doing is we're putting the same thing, metal uh, barriers up against the fence here, all the way across over there. Because the dogs don't see the animals that are gonna be over here. And so the animals can't climb out and things of that sort. Right now, I'm only gonna put one sheet of metal up to the side but eventually i'm gonna probably add up three more so the animals cannot climb out in any way they can't climb by that it's gonna be uh, just more secure for these type of species of animals that will be here in the future and then on top of that ow, um there's gonna be a lot of river rock and uh, limestone rock and all different types of rock that's gonna be here that greg rootstock is actually bringing and they're getting all that put together so when these things right here sorry guys when they're we're gonna do it right now actually when these things are screwed up against the fence here and all the rock is pushed up against here from the new ponds, it's already there. If I didn't put this now, then the rock's gonna get pushed up against it. It's gonna go through the freaking horse mesh and it's gonna be a pain in the bum when I have to move the rock, getting everything done prepared now. So that's what we're about to do now. And just in a few seconds, once this is all done, I got a bunch of brand new spray paint and I'm gonna show you the design of the brand new pond that's gonna be here. I'm gonna draw it all out on the floor and show you guys all of that as well. If you guys were following me on Blake's Exotic Animal Ranch on Instagram. You guys would have saw the exclusive drawings that I've already had put up, but some of you guys are not following me. So we just got done with all of the barriers onto this side of the new enclosure that's gonna get built up. And you guys, on top of that, I'm gonna explain how this enclosure is gonna work. A whole nother barrier that has to come over here because it has to be completely closed in. And for the species of animal, for the regulations here in Florida, for the regulations here in Florida, it has to be completely closed in as well. So it's still a process, still a thing, but the biggest, most expensive part of this whole entire enclosure is gonna be this pond. So let's grab this paint and uh, I'm gonna show you how big this pond is really gonna be. Let's do it. So there's a seven foot gate that's right there that has to get in 
placed in there. All throughout the whole entire property, I always make sure I have a 12 foot gate everywhere so that we could get in in any direction of the property. Unfortunately, right here, because of the building and how things worked out, there's only a seven foot to be here. So I'm gonna make a seven foot entryway the whole way to go here if I need to enter that side. But I can still enter in other ways if needed or if necessary for any emergencies, things of that sort. So from right here, it would only be really golf carts and things of that sort that to come through. So I'm gonna start from right here from that box, that's the electricity box. From right here, I'm gonna go seven foot all the way this way. Let's keep going, 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 right there. So that's seven foot right there where that pole's at, that's what I thought. So from right here, there's gonna be an enclosure starting. Just go a little bit more, do 7.5 just to be safe. Let's go right there, that's fine right there. So right here. So from right there, all the way that way is gonna be enclosure. So let's make this white line real quick. All right, so we decided, well I didn't decide, I'm just planning in the future. I wanted to make sure I have a little bit more space coming this way, just in case I need to bring a forklift or some type of equipment into this building because I have this giant 12 foot door. And this is the reason why I made this 12 foot door is because you guys know we have monster fish inside this building and monster fish means monster tanks. So monster tanks have to come in here eventually very soon in the near future. So I need to make sure I have room for a forklift to back something inside of here and go right inside this building. So I have to make sure I have space. Because I don't want to build a massive enclosure, a big old uh, fence, and then have to knock it down later. There's a lot of freaking work. So let's uh, keep on going. So let me see where I'm going to go here. There's electricity getting run here to the doghouse. So we're going to come out this way. The pond, I saw the last pond part right there. All right, so we got this. Yeah, that's a, that's a big enclosure, bro. Yeah, that's a big enclosure, and the end is all over there to the sidewalk. So this is gonna be the fence line. So now, let's measure out the pond. The pond for the species that is coming here. Again, the species is not coming here right now, we're just... It, it is really windy out. The species isn't coming right here. What we're doing is just designing the whole enclosure, getting it all put together. I had the opportunity from Greg Woodstock to give me... Dust storm. Like last week, it was a freaking mud storm here and raining everywhere. And now it's completely dry and it's just dirt everywhere. It's insane. It's crazy how Florida works, guys. It's insane. Anyways, yeah. So the animals are not coming right now, but I just want to get the enclosures done completely prepared, landscape the whole nine yards, completely settled in before these animals come. So next up is I'm going to show you the pond. The pond is going to be 25 by 16 feet in a kind of circle, kind of diagonal kind of thing. So I need you from about right here, 25 feet going across that way, right directly in the middle. Where that orange one was before, because if they were following me on Instagram before, they would have solved this plan out. But I'm doing it again because the time is very, very near and uh, the pond is coming, the dig out is coming. So just go from the, the lion's butts and go all the way across. So you tell me if you get 25. All the way that way. Let me get the uh, orange marking. So that's going to be the pond. Orange is going to be pond, white is going to be fence lines. So Ed, the pond guy, the professor of like building ponds absolutely everywhere. He's like the brain of it all. It's absolutely insane. He's so smart with ponds. He designed me a pond for this uh, area that I'm putting inside of this enclosure. And he said the filter system will be around six to eight foot in a circle. So right here is where the filter is going to be at. So what I'm guessing on how I've seen ponds before and how my pond is in front. This is like a big circle thing that are there that they have over there. And that's where the waterfall is at. So I'm hoping I'm designing it all from what he sent me. They're going to come and they're probably going to make this whole thing completely different i have no idea so make sure you have those post notifications on to see what really is going to happen but this is what i hope is going to happen so i think this is going to be the pond part right here and they're going to build up with all the dirt an uh, enormous waterfall back here so the waterfall is going to be right here and it's going to go down into the pond of 25 by 16 so right now we're going to make the big circle to show you guys what the 25 by 16 looks like so dylan is actually going to start drawing the pond because he is a complete artist he's the one that actually did the logo for the blake's bully ranch inside the building well inside the garage and wow it is windy oh my goodness all right so he's drawing out the pond right now and um yeah i'm talking so let's see what his artistic knowledge is doing and he's actually looking at the picture that ed uh, sent me so we're drawing that out and i'm going to show you guys the example of what's going to happen and what we're going to dig out in the next couple days so let's see doing a good job dylan let's figure this thing out thank you sir <laughs> Bro, this is gonna be a massive pond. It's gonna be huge. Like, literally huge. 
going to be crazy. Yeah, Are you about no, swimming in it? Are you about swimming, Damien? <laughs> <laughs> so there's a filter right here. You see it? So get to that filter. Well, don't worry about that. You're not going to be able to get yeah. that. And unfortunately, you guys remember when it was nice and muddy and disgusting down there? Yeah, well, all this grass is going to get destroyed with a big old freaking caterpillar that's coming here that's going to destroy everything. So it's looking pretty freaking big. And the way I'm going to set this whole enclosure up is I'm going to set it up as a class two animal. So class two animals are different species of animals like crocodilians and different things like that. And then so it's going to be the big waterfall there. And the waterfall is actually going to have plumbing going down on the bottom, I guess. And it's going to come back to the wetland filter. There's going to be a massive wetland filter here that's going to completely filter this ginormous pond. Bro, this pond's huge. Huge. I'm probably gonna have to make them make smaller. I don't even know. We'll see. Go bigger, go home, right? No, I know, but it's just the land. Yeah, I need more land. Job. Hopefully, the wetland filter, the animals can go through there as well. If they could go in there as well, then we're safe because I need more land, but there's a lot of water now. All right, so let's see what the finished product is gonna look like. Yo, you're really good at this, bro. Making a nice freaking orange line. Thank you, man. It's really difficult, it's talent. Yeah, I know, that's why I couldn't do it, that's why I'm behind the camera. come this way. Here we go. We go right to the filter. Oh, 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 sorry, buddy. All right, there we go. There we go. You're kidding me, right? We got it. <laughs> yep, your, foot's a, little, your right foot's a little line. orange. It's, it's all right, buddy. Your work, dude. <laughs> that's absolutely massive. Yeah, that's a big pond. That is dope. So the species of animals that we're getting. Regulations, the pond size, all they need is four by eight, and it has to be 2.5 feet deep. So we're going to make a square around the lines four feet wide by eight feet long. We're gonna square that out and that's gonna be the deepest part. So if you guys see, that's the regulation for these creatures and the animals, the reptiles, whatever is coming is four by eight. But we are making it 25 by 16. That is a pretty big enclosure for the animals that are coming. So it's gonna be pretty neat. Pretty cool. And then over here, as you remember, the white line is the barrier fencing. And then they're gonna have land for the animals to bask, to maybe run, maybe fly. I don't know. What do, you, what do you think these animals do? Fly, swim, jump? I mean, they probably do it all. They do it all. They probably do it all. They do it all. I think so. I, I don't know what they do. They, bite. That's what they do. they definitely have teeth. So we'll figure it out in the future. So remember, look at this, you guys. Absolutely insane. This pond is this big for the regulations for these animals. And it's for two of the animals. So as you can see, I wasn't going to make a pond this big for these animals. I made it much, much, much more bigger. So vision this now. Vision this. Wetlands filter is going to be over here. We're going to draw that out right now. It's going to be 10 by 20. We walk through the side of the brand new gate. We look to the left and we have a massive waterfall over there blocking off the whole doghouse over there. You're not going to see it unless you're on the other side of the fence. It looks like two different parts of the property. You cold, buddy? Running to the sun. <laughs> it's freaking cold out here. I ain't going to lie. But um, that is... I know, Tyson, you want to go inside. It's cold, huh? See, the animals know they want to go inside. That's their shelter. That's their home. But um, other than that, that is massive. Let's get the 10 by 20 uh, wetlands filter in and then let's get an overall picture afterwards. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Um, and literally in a couple days, put those post notifications on. This whole backyard is gonna be completely, absolutely changed up. Everything's gonna be destroyed. It's gonna look like a bomb went through here. But um, I mean, look at this. Massive pond is coming, it's on its way. Greg Woodstock is the one that's doing this pond. So if you want a pond getting built, make sure you check his company, his place out amazing stuff amazing people and um yeah give this video a thumbs up you guys because we have this is just step two yes. we got some more steps for you guys i'll see you guys later have a good day everybody peace out